This is John Paul Wright. I'm coming from Tokyo, Japan. I got a haircut. You might hear some kids laughing in the background because I'm having a crazy day. But this news broke about how Natalie Portman's going to be Thor and I'm going to cover it. So here we see it. The title is Thor Love and Thunder. I, I won't even get into that right now. That really does not sound like a title I would personally like for a movie. A theme. There's nothing wrong with love. But it's not exactly what I think of when I want my next awesome Marvel movie, especially starring one of my favorite Marvel characters, which is actually not quite exactly the way he once was. Okay, so the article says here the fourth Thor movie now revealed to be called Thor Love and Thunder, like I just said, yippee, that's gonna be great, is on its way and it's bringing a surprising cast member Natalie Portman reprising her role as Jane Foster who will be following in her comic counterpart's footsteps to take on the role of Thor in the film announced as part of Marvel's massive San Diego Comic-Con panel where Benioff and Weiss and Ruby Rose will be absent from. The news came after an early announcement ahead of SDCC that revealed that Thor Ragnarok director Taiki Watati, if I'm saying that right, Taiki Watati would be returning to direct the fourth installment of the superhero franchise Chris Helmworth and Tessa Thompson will also return for Thor, Love and Thunder, reprising the roles as Thor and Valkyrie, respectively. Hemsworth and Portman are also confirmed to be part of Marvel's upcoming What If animated series for Disney Plus 2. What If is a good thing to have if you want to do all these gender swaps, racial swaps, swap, 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 change character, change character. Have it a What If series. What if James Bond was a woman? What if the Ghostbusters were women? What if Rey was the most powerful Jedi in the galaxy and Luke Skywalker was a hermit? It would work a lot better. It might even be enjoyable if it was like, what if this happened, but it's not actually the real story we're moving forward with. It's a fun story everyone can enjoy. Maybe. What if is a good, nice little key phrase to take away here. This is the tweet by Marvel Studios just announced in Hall H at SDCC Marvel Studios Thor, Love and Thunder with Chris Helmworth, Tessa Thompson, and Natalie Portman. Taika Waititi, okay, that's it. Taika Waititi returns as director in theaters November 5th. So I guess this is the whole thing that started everything off. They say that Portman hasn't appeared in a Marvel film since 2013. Okay, I like Natalie Portman. She's great. I actually really, really like Natalie Portman. Padme, I say Padme, Padme is one of my favorite Star Wars characters in the prequels. And she's just great. She's just a great actress. I've always liked her. So it has nothing to do with horror, that she's a woman. It just kind of feels like, why are they pushing so hard with all these female characters? I don't get it. Well, I kind of get it, but that's what this whole battle about, you know, the SJWs or the political agenda. One side, like me, is trying to prove it's deliberate. They're pandering, they're sung to a certain audience, they're proving a message that men is weak, and the other side's like, what's the root problem if it's a woman? What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with it being a woman. It's all in the way things are going down, that they're making the lead males into women. Now in this case, we do have some canon, we do have the comics where Thor had become a woman, but those comics got heat when they came out, and it's just not necessary. Why not have an awesome female character added into Thor? Maybe she's his equal. She's in there. She does great things, but she's her own character with her own story. I know, you know, theoretically, some characters don't have to be their own character because Thor or Batman or 007 isn't actually one single character. It's kind of like a position you take, but you guys get my drift. This is what they're going for with a major motion picture, and it just feels like they're pushing their agenda further and further down my throat. Well, I'm not buying it anymore, so they're just kind of like putting it up to my mouth and I'm not eating it anymore. As for Portman's own Thor, Love and Thunder, Marvel is keeping that along with basically any information about the film under wraps for now. So there's not too much we know about this. Let's see how it plays out. This is a quick video. I'm talking fast. I always am. I kind of like talking fast because you don't want to watch a video where someone's talking slow, do you? All right. I'm doing shout outs. Special thanks. No shout out today because I'm in a rush. Late. Late for a very important date. See you next time.